Billy the Kid, a very popular Philly uh, gangster rapper, um, is under fire figuratively for saying all lives matter. And his quote was, all the niggas I know been shot by niggas, end quote. What do you think? You know, I, I, I'm so tired of the media sticking their cameras in, in the faces of people who just be saying shit, just be saying shit. You know, um, yeah, and here is um, a questionable take that I have. Yes, all lives matter, but black lives matter are under attack, not only by the police, but by blacks as well. The candle of life on black men is being burned on both ends. Mm. Okay? Mm. Speak. Now, here's the cold part. Here's the cold part. When it comes to our burning of the candle, we're the only ones that have a brand associated with that. Okay? We have a brand associated with that. It's called gangster rap. Most of your gangster rappers are only talking about killing other black folks. Most of you, I ain't heard of black folk. I ain't heard of heard of a gangster rap record yet. Talking about killing no clan. Now we heard them maybe shooting at the police, vividly, lightly, lightly. Yeah. Okay. But all of them are shooting at another brother. Yeah. Ain't nobody said nothing about that. In fact, we dance to the groove because it's funky groove and we like the lyrics. Blah blah blah, and it's all good. Now on one side. When it happens, it's national news, and I, rightfully so. But the other side that's more disturbing to me is some folks just say that's part of the game. That's scary. When a black man dies at the hand of another black man, they write it off as being a part of the game. No, no. That's and the I wrong thing. figure out what game are you playing where everybody loses? Nope. What mm. game are we playing? We ain't no winners. Uh, we the only ones that's in a war that shoot our own soldiers. Damn. We shooting everything. Bow, bow, bow. Okay? Everything. Babies don't give a damn. Yep. Baby, uh, Ricky, Ricky Smiley's daughter was in, a, was in line to get in a hamburger, Ooh. and she oh. caught a bullet. Man. Two. Oh. That killed she me. That she ain't in nothing. She going to school. And see, this is the kind of reckless disregard that makes us as a people look stupid, okay? Yes, white folks kill white folks, Mexican kill Mexicans, Chinese kill Chinese. We the only ones do it to a funky ass beat. Talk to him, Alonzo, Jesus Christ. We the only ones do it to a funky ass beat. We the only ones feel we have to do it in order to be cool, okay? You know, everybody, not everybody, but in, in, in the hood, I remember, cause when you grown, you got memories. I remember when everybody was peace, my brother. Peace, peace, peace. All love and peace. Mm. Okay? All, yeah, and brothers died back then. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't to the degree that they died today. Mm -hmm. 1,700 brothers and sisters have been shot in Chicago alone since July, and I mean, since January and now. 1,700, almost 1,800 folks been shot, 500 been killed. Now, if, if we found out that them people were shot by white people, Black Lives yeah. Matter, everybody else is ready to put your boots on, let's go to work. Oh, you are, you are, pre dog, please preach, please if, preach. If, if them 1,700 people was proven to be shot by white people, we finna load up, let's roll out, okay? We, mm -hmm. we, it's on, it's on, okay? <laughs> but they were shot by black folks that we may know. I ain't snitching. So true, homie. I'm so cool. I'm cool. That's part of the game. I saw a brother the day on Facebook. Cameras caught him walking his daughter across the street. You see a black arm come out the, out the, out the, out the uh, car. Pop, yeah, a kid in front of his pop, six year old daughter. Okay. Yep. Very familiar. Story. I'm very familiar. My question is, you know, and, and, and the statement was, you don't know what he did. My question was, what did she do to deserve that? You so cold, you got to kill him. You got, you got to deal in front of your kid, his kid. I'm not, 
I'm not a gangster and I never was, but I do know there's a certain code back then, maybe 30, 40 years ago. If you saw your, uh, your rival with his kid or you saw your rival with this girl, he got a pass. I'll, I'll catch you on the next time. That was just kidding right in front of him. Well, see, when, when you don't have no code, you ain't, see, you, ain't, you, you, you don't have nobody that's really, that they have to answer to. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these guys that, 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 that were in the game don't deal with these youngsters. A lot of these youngsters don't have no guidance. They out there trying to make a name for themselves. They don't know there was once rules. They have no idea about the rules. And for the most part, if you told them the rules, they wouldn't give a damn. That's it right there. They wouldn't give a damn. Okay. So why am I why am I going to protect somebody who is that reckless when it comes to shooting? You just you got, I saw some fools running down the freeway shooting at each other. The freeway was stopped. They jumped out the car, full running, bullets flying everywhere. What do? You, what makes you think that you can just do that? Oh my God! Mm. What makes you can just think you can just have bullets flying through people's car windows, killing kids, and nobody's gonna say nothing? Now, here's the part that's really messed up. We we only say something on social media. Mm. We don't march on them. Damn, talk. We don't, talk. We don't march on them. Black Lives Matter don't march on them. Nobody don't, march, nobody don't say nothing. Everybody just, oh, man, damn. Ooh, shit. It's the ooh factor. Ooh, shit. I saw another video one time. Mm -hmm. Yep. It was like nine or ten cats in the street just buffing at each other. Bam, 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 bam. Like, like they was in the wire or something. That, like they were doing it like that, like Omar and and uh and uh the boys yeah. from the wire. Oh, oh they yeah, were yeah. off back and forth. Yeah. Okay. Now that may that may happen on television. It may, it may maybe TV got something to do with that. I don't know. But real life, man, the bullets is, bullets will follow will fly a mile mm -hmm. if you don't hit nothing. A bullet will travel a mile. It ain't yeah. gonna just stop. Okay. They don't just, bullets don't just get tired. Woo! I done traveled a thousand feet. I missed him. I gotta sit down. They don't do that. Okay? Bullets just don't get tired of traveling and lay down, take a break. Oh shit. Oh, I done traveled that man a thousand feet. Let me sit my ass down. It don't work like that. Okay? Great. It's gonna go until they hit something. Yeah. A building, a tree, a car, a baby, mm. your mama, mm. somebody's daddy. People have died. People have died on on uh, on uh, New Year's Eve. People shooting up in the air, yeah. and bullets come through windows, come through houses. People have all of a sudden, bam! Then what happened? Bullet came through the roof. Cause what go up? Yeah, gotta come down. Bullets don't get stuck in clouds. Yeah, bullets don't get stuck in clouds. Mm -hmm. And I, I, one of my partners. Shit, he was in his bed, and if he had to roll over one more time, he'd have got a bullet in his ass. Wow. Bullet came through the window. Mm. Okay, so you're dealing with a level of ignorance that has no regard for human life, not only their lives, but anybody else's lives. Yeah. And it's real hard to understand that, man. And it's real hard to accept that. But again, we as people of color, don't say anything. Mm -hmm. if, if you don't say nothing, it's like I come to your house right. I come to your house right now and take a shit on your floor. And you don't say nothing. <laughs> guess what? The next guy gonna take a shit on your floor too. Or if I come to your house, your house is nasty. I'm gonna throw my trash on the floor too. Why would yeah. Why not? Your house is nasty. Mm -hmm. But if I come to your house, you got white carpet, and you ask me to take off my shoes. Even my, my, I got a hold of my socks. I'm gonna take off my shoes because I see your house. Is, I see how you keep your house. Yeah. The house, our house, when it comes to our, our our imagery, the images we allow to be projected on the screen, what people see, it, what people see, it, see us do, or people think they see us do, we need to step up and shut that shit down. Yeah. That is not a true representation of us as a people. That's true, but, man. Huh? No, that's, that's true. It's yeah. not a true representation of us as a people. Mm -hmm. I saw a video, I saw a TED talk. This white preacher grew up in a black neighborhood. I'm gonna I'm send it to you. 
I want you to add this TED Talk to this video if you can. Okay. Let me make a note. All right. Okay. The video is, is, is about a few minutes long, but I played this for one of my, for one of my classes, and everybody sat there with their mouths open because this white cop, this white pre uh, preacher, grew up in an all-black neighborhood, went to all-black school. He was the only white boy everywhere. He became a pastor, and he, had a, he was a pastor in an all-black church. And it, he started to check out the different music that was being played by his congregation. As he says, he went to a radio station and asked him, he says, if there was music that was anti-gay, would you play it on your radio station? Oh, no way, no way. Mm -hmm. If there was music that was anti-Jew, would you play it on your radio station? Oh, no way, my, 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 my uh, sponsors would never allow that. Mm -hmm. If there was music killing puppies, playing uh, uh, for your, on your radio station, would your sponsors play it? Oh, no. Why do you have music that play that 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 uh that just justifies killing blacks? Oh, that's just wow. the culture. That, Damn, that's what they do. Wow. See, because if they play uh, music by hating on Jew, hating on Jews, the Anti Defamation League is going. We stopping yep. that. Yep. Okay, Jewish Defense League coming after them. Mm -hmm. If they play song music about uh about, about gays or whatever. The LGBT coming after them. Damn. Talk about puppies. Peter's going to ride on their ass, OK? Anybody riding for black folks, man? Yep. Nobody Damn. rides for black folks. Including us. We're the ones making We ride for ourselves. So <laughs> you, you wonder why we, the situation that we, we don't ride for ourselves. Yeah. And, and we ride now. We, we ride now. We ride now. Black Lives Matter riding for folks against the police. Ain't nobody riding for us for the, against the boys in the hood. Man, you gave me goosebumps like three times in the past 10 minutes, man, because you're speaking that real shit that I wish more of us, especially, el I don't want to call you an elder, but, you know, people who've been through life can can speak on. That's, dude, that's, that dude, was good shit. Dude. Well, I, I, got, I got three, I got two grandsons. I got two grandsons. Yep. I got an 18-year-old son. I'm more concerned about them being shot by one of the homies in the streets than I am the police, Doc. There it is. I know the police, the, is. The, the, I, I've had run-ins with the police as a young black man, but I've had more run-ins with brothers on the street. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yep. Police they don't care about this, mm -hmm. okay? But when, when you're in certain, certain environments, you got to be aware of that kind of stuff, man. Mm -hmm. You got to be aware. And I'm not, I ain't no punk by no means, man, but I ain't stupid either. Exactly. You can't be stupid out in these streets. Yeah. And this is something that we have to understand, dude. Everything, everything that would have beat ain't music, dude. Everything that sounds good ain't good for you. And even when you, if you like it, why you got to expose your kids to it at such an early age? You know, I, you know, we music at you got kids. I saw a letter on Facebook. A lady had to write a letter on Facebook where she had to send to the parents of the, uh, the her, 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 her daycare center and explain to them that she is a mandatory reporter from Child Protection Services. And if the kids come to something like weed again, she got to report to parents because parents are too stupid to realize. Look, little baby can't go to school. You, you got a blunt in the car with the baby. Baby got a contact high, and you wonder why, you know, the, the child protective services putting your kid in foster care. I had, I, I had I, an I, argument. Go ahead. I have a friend who is a school teacher. I'm not going to say what city, but it's a city near and dear to our hearts. Uh, elementary teacher, and she literally told me that uh, she's had to tell parents to not send their kids to school smelling like weed. I could not believe it when she told me that. So this, this is the kind of stupidity that, oh man, that, that bitch is a snitch. No, she's not a snitch. That's her damn job, okay? Mm -hmm. You too stupid. I, mean, I, I had this happen at the club one time, man. They was rehearsing in the club, doing some stuff at the club. Club was closed. I felt to see what was happening. 
and they got a table of adults over here, kids over here playing. They got weed everywhere, and they blowing the weed. I said, man, why y'all got blowing weed and y'all got kids in the room? Oh, man, uh, uh, my, mama, my mama drank around me when I was uh, a kid. Motherfucker, you ever heard of a contact drunk? Man. That just pissed me off, the stupidity. You ever heard of a contact drunk? You got to consume the, the drink to get drunk where weed is in the air. Yep. All you got to do is breathe. Mm -hmm. And you, all you, you just need enough to, for that kid to start coughing or have a, any type of a reaction and take it to the hospital, to the doctor. And next thing you know, they come, they come and take your baby away. Yep. That's real talk. And it happens every single it day. Every day. Okay. My social so, service is never going to be out of business. Never. And, it, it, and once, you've been, once you fall into that, get that, that's like having a spider web on you, man. You can't get that off of you, dude. No matter what yep. you do, you always gonna, that's going to follow you around. That's like having a book on your finger. You ever had a book on your finger? You try to, and end up on the other hand. Like, ah, damn, I can't get this on my <laughs> Yeah, same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Spider web book, the same thing, okay? You got that on you, got that on you now. And it, it, it's like you can't wait till your kid get out the car. I mean, I would even, well, I, 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 I smoked weed in my car a couple of times. My son gets in in the morning. I had to spray and do all kinds of stuff to make sure that he don't experience my adulthood, my bad habit, okay? You know, and that's right. why I like to bake the pig, because bake disseminates a lot faster. Yeah. So, you know, this is the kind of stuff that nobody talks about, man, because they assume that everybody, because you get a certain age, you know certain things. No, you don't. You got to be taught. And unfortunately, the system ain't telling you till it's too late. Nope. When they finally nope. drop, drop the game on your ass, you're going to learn firsthand through a lawyer. Yeah, when they say 40 years, you're like, damn, it's too late. Done deal. Uh, yeah, right. those lessons to learn. It's it's already it's it's already passed. Yeah. So just just because you think you know, don't mean you know. And I I don't claim to know everything, man. I swear to God, I I'm, I'm learning every day. And that's what I love about life. You get to learn something every day. And that's why I like talking to you, talking to other other youngsters, because it keeps me on my toes. Because I can exchange information, take my experience, and apply it to today, and may, hopefully make some sense to somebody out there that, that want to learn. Uh, you're going to change so many lives, Alonzo. Shit, man. Uh, we, man, we went over uh, well over an hour. Any last words? No, nah, man. Uh, I just wish straight best luck in divorce court. That's all. You missed that. <laughs> you're crazy, man. Send me that video. I'll try to get the uh, first part up tonight. You got it, folks. Much love. Peace. Peace. Subscribe. Yeah. Share. Notify. Peace. Uh, peace, man.